Hi guys, this is Raul from Simple Wi-Fi. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also comment down below any questions. I try to answer every single one as they come. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about Wi-Fi connector names, types, gender, and even polarity. So we're gonna get pretty specific on Wi-Fi connectors. And then we're gonna jump into Wi-Fi cables. So make sure that you know what to do when you're choosing your Wi-Fi connections. So let's go. So the first thing we're going to jump into is the naming of connectors. We're going to have the type, the gender and polarity expressed whenever you see a connector. Types will be N type, SMA, TNC, and sometimes F type. Gender will have female, male, and then polarity will be expressed only if the pin is reversed. So we're going to dive into each three of these sections in more detail. So it's worth noting that these connector types are typical in the Wi-Fi world. Sometimes you see these in cellular and TV and stuff like that. But for outdoor Wi-Fi antennas, you're going to always use an outdoor rated N type. So N female or N male. On your routers or USB adapters, you're typically going to see an SMA, which is a little gold connector. Uh, it's a lot smaller. And sometimes you can come, come across a TNC type or an F type. TNC was popular with the old Linksys routers and F type is uh, just kind of that TV stuff that kind of crosses over sometimes. So looking at gender now, the way you can tell whether you have a male or a female, if you look on the left side, the male has the threads on the inside and also a center pin while the female part of the connector has the threads exposed on the outside. So now jumping into the most confusing part about connectors, which is polarity. Uh, this typically only applies to SMA connectors, which are indoor connections. As you can see on the right, the antenna has an SMA male because the threads are on the inside and the router has an SMA female because the threads are exposed. However, the pin is on the female. As you can see there, it's actually reversed, right? So you have an SMA male or female reverse polarity. The RP is shown to imply that the pin is on the opposite gender. Now moving on to how to pick a cable. This is an often overlooked important part of your Wi-Fi setup. Step one is going to be the length. You always want to go with the shortest length possible for your cable run. And this is because of signal loss or attenuation. The longer the cable, the more signal you will lose between the antenna and the radio. Step two is a type of cable or really the thickness of the cable. You always want to go with the thickest cable possible that your budget allows. A thicker cable will just have more insulating jacket for the RF on your cable run. So for cable runs less than 10 feet, you can get by with an L195 cable. This is the cable typically used as pigtails on antennas before you can go on to thicker connections for longer runs. The next step up is the L240 cable, which is the best cost to performance ratio for runs up to 20 feet. Anything more than that, you definitely want to upgrade to the next step. That step being the L400 cable, which is much thicker than the cables mentioned before, and is good for runs between 20 and 100 feet with minimal RF loss along your cable run. Now moving on to typical Wi-Fi cable configurations. First, we're going to look at an outdoor Wi-Fi setup. If you have an outdoor Wi-Fi antenna, chances are that it has an N female built onto it. That's the threads are exposed. Almost all outdoor rated Wi-Fi antennas have this type of connector as an N female. Inside your USB adapter or your router will have an SMA female RP. That is if the antennas are detachable on your Wi-Fi device. So your cable assembly will be an N male with an SMA male RP. That is your cable assembly which will connect to the outdoor antenna and your indoor Wi-Fi device. Looking now at indoor Wi-Fi antennas, you have to make sure that the indoor device, whether that be a USB adapter or a router, has antennas that come off so that you can put a bigger one on it. That bigger antenna will have an SMA male RP so that it can connect to the device's SMA female RP. In summary, your outdoor Wi-Fi cable should be an N male to an SMA male RP. And if you're doing an indoor connection, SMA female RP on the device and SMA male RP on the antenna you're trying to attach. And lastly, there is no way to connect an Ethernet cable to a coax and vice versa, and also with USB or coax. A Wi Fi cable cannot plug into any of these ports on your Wi Fi device. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can reach out to us at simplewifi.com.